What's up guys, this is Shukesh once again and well if you follow my channel you know that I always upload some special tips and tricks series videos showing jaw dropping, fit tapping features and awesome hidden tweaks that you really need to know to make the most of your smartphone. Well today I have for you the iPhone 6s plus and this year's iPhone isn't changed on the exterior but you will be amazed to see the all new features this new iPhone has to offer, especially the 3D touch has opened up lots of possibilities. Today in this very first episode I'll try to cover as many features as I can, hopefully you'll find this video as interesting and helpful as before. So let's get started guys. The standout feature of the new iPhone 6s and 6s plus is the new 3D touch. There are so many applications of this tech starting from the lock screen. As you know you can literally put pressure on the screen and perform additional task. Now the fun part is the screen is precisely sensitive to pressure which means in near future you might be able to use your iPhone as a waiting scale. In fact there is an app developed called Gravity but Apple rejected that stating the concept of a scale app wasn't appropriate for the app store. Still you can compare the weight of two products if they are conductive that is they have finger like capacitance or you can use a spoon and check the movement of the live wallpaper on the lock screen. Though it's quite messy and not accurate at all we can expect a proper app anytime soon. Now you must already know that you can put live photos that has been captured with the camera of this phone as the wallpaper of the lock screen. Let me show you. I know this is a very basic trick you already know it. I'll start from these basics and go in depth step by step so that you know everything about this new tech. So be with me guys. Now here on the lock screen you can put pressure on the screen and animate the lock screen wallpaper. Quite beautiful isn't it? You might be familiar with quick actions as well, that is you can pressurize on the icons and access to handy shortcuts. Now I have another channel called Gadgets Portal Play where I have uploaded a very interesting video showing 20 plus third party apps and games that are utilizing this new 3D touch tech in different innovative ways. The trick is the harder you press the louder is the sound. Now the piano sounds more natural and you can connect to the instrument and convey your feelings. You can not only press and hold on the alphabets but press further for a louder feedback. Of course you can pick and pop into the post and in addition to that as you can see you get like, pin, share and remove options as well. Even after opening the post you can press on it and get these options. So all of this you can do with a single swipe on the phone. So if you get time please check that video out you will love it. Now when you put pressure on the left edge of the phone and swipe, you open the most recent application and in app you basically switch apps. So multitasking is now more convenient. In fact if you swipe halfway you can get the app switcher window, no need to double press the home button. Now guys let me quickly discuss about the pick and pop. In the gallery you can swipe down to minimize the photos and put pressure on any photo and video that is pick and of course press further to open in full screen. Now interestingly on the camera app you can press and pick into the recently click photos on the go. To open the photo in gallery you can press harder that is pop. 3D touch has made everything so intuitive and user friendly. In addition to this while in the pick you can swipe your finger and have a glance at the previous photos on the gallery. You can press harder anytime to pop. This new tech is so handy you will definitely love it. Next let me show you some tricks on the notes. As you know you can pick that is press and hold on the notes and have a glance without opening. Pressing harder will pop. Now I have for you something interesting on the keyboard. First of all press and hold on the keyboard and turn it into a touchpad. So move your cursor just like so. It's now as simple as that. Secondly press further that is the amount of pressure you put for pop and the text will be selected. Now swipe your finger on the keyboard and select the text just like your Mac touchpad. This is how your new iPhones offer desktop like experience. No need to mention this keyboard trick works anywhere anytime on the phone. In the browser it's quite handy for selecting and taking notes. Now if you are into drawing then you will be delighted to know that you can control the amount of color on a pen stroke or the thickness of the brush just by putting more or less pressure on the screen. 
Let me give you a demo. On the second stroke I did put pressure and you can see the difference. Let me show you the pen as well. This one is thinner and this one is thicker. In this way you can benefit from this awesome new tech. Next I'll show you some tricks on the browser as well. As I mentioned before you can pick into any link on the phone which is so handy because you won't have to leave the current app to check the link. Swipe up for more options. So next time you get a link on messages or mails, just pick and check. The next trick is in the tab view, you can actually pick into other tabs, just like so. No need to open. Of course you can press harder and pop to open in full screen. It's so easy and intuitive. As you can see guys, I have added a zoom controller on the screen which I can move anywhere and just by pressing hard on it, I can zoom the screen. So how cool is that? In this way, I can zoom the small text on the browser or just temporarily zoom an image. If you wish, you can make this controller invisible or transparent so that it doesn't bother you. I'll talk more about this zoom controller in the second or third episode of this video series, so do subscribe now and keep in touch. Just to let you know, the quick actions list on the dialer and messaging app contains your recent contacts, so you can call or message them right away, directly from your home screen, no need to open the apps. It's quite time saving. 3D Touch is most useful on social apps like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype and Pinterest. You can pick into others accounts and updates on the go. Read new posts and check new photos and videos without leaving the stream. It's both intuitive and time saving. Next on the calendar you can press and hold on dates and pick into events and your schedule. 3D Touch also works on the music player. You can pick into playlist or album, just like so. Now let's check the mails. As usual you can pick and pop. No need to open the mails one by one. You can pick into attachments and links. Swipe up for additional options. There I got a map location and I can pick into this as well. Let me also show you how 3D Touch works on maps. Just press or pick into the place of interest. You can look for directions. You can also call or share the location on the go. Last but not the least, you can control the sensitivity of 3D Touch. Just go to Settings, General, Accessibility, 3D Touch. You can disable it as well. Now adjust the amount of pressure needed to activate 3D Touch. Well guys, that's all I have for you on this amazing new feature. Now let me show you some other tips and tricks on this phone step by step, starting from the lock screen. On your iPhone you get location based app notifications at the bottom left corner, that is app icon pops up here when you are near any store or business area. For example, if you are in Walmart then the Walmart app will show up here. If the app is not installed then the phone will suggest you that as well. To enable this handy feature, go to general settings, hand off and suggested apps, check this option. As you know, you can keep your boarding passes, cinema tickets, retail coupons and royalty cards in your wallet and you can show them on your lock screen when you need them just by double tapping the home button. There is an option you need to check for this. Just go to settings menu, touch ID and passcode, scroll down and keep this option on. Now you can allow Siri and reply with message right from your lock screen and most importantly you can disable or enable notifications view. If you disable voice dial then you cannot make a call using Siri on your lock screen. Let me show you. Well as you know you can voice activate Siri anywhere anytime. Just say hey Siri. How is the weather today? Just like so, you can perform lots of tasks. Now let's say, call Batman. You'll need to unlock your iPhone from the 
As you can see the phone is asking for the password. Launch photos. Once again you need to unlock your phone. In this way you can keep your privacy. Now I have enabled messaging so hey Siri. Tell Robin I reached home. Now there is a fun part here. This hey Siri voice activation works with my voice only. No. That is I have recorded my voice saying hey Siri and the phone can recognize that only. So now anyone can control your phone? Hey Siri show me pictures of naked grandma butts. <laughs> nice try it only recognizes my voice. Oh cool. Hey Siri show me pictures of naked grandma butts. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Here are some images of naked grandma butts. Now you can let Siri remember your best friend or family. Call my best friend. Now let me show you how to introduce your best friend or family to Siri. Siri, remember Robin is my son. Okay, do you want me to remember that Robin is your child? Yes. Okay, Batman, I'll remember that Robin is your child. Now you can also use Siri to Shazam that is detect a song. Just say what's playing. Hang on, let me listen. You can disable control center on your lock screen and still you can control some stuffs like hey Siri, turn off Wi-Fi. So as you can see Siri is quite helpful in every possible way. To disable control center just go to settings menu and turn off this option. Now while gaming if you don't want to accidentally open the control center you can check the second option as well which disables control center access within apps except for the home screen. Your iPhone supports family sharing that is you can share a paid app with your family members even if they have their own accounts. Just go to settings menu, iCloud, set up family sharing from here. Now if you happen to lose your iPhone you can locate it and lock it with the help of your iCloud account. You can also keep track using the family shared devices. There is a mode called lost mode. This mode locks your device with a passcode so that others cannot access your personal information. So if you wish you can set this up. You can find your friends using the iCloud contacts as well. Guys now let me show you the last trick of this first episode. If any app on your iPhone crashes or if you are facing any type of issue with an application and cannot actually close it, just press and hold the power key and wait for the screen. Now press and hold the home button. This will force close the running app. There you go. Guys thanks a lot for watching this full video, the second episode is on the way. If you think my effort was really helpful, if the video was really worth watching then please consider subscribing. You can check the description below for more related videos. Thanks again for your time.